Yes, hello, you flight sim guys. Well, I'm I have been alone with the kids, the, my three kids, for one month or so. So finally got some time to draw on the Sidiu Bay. So what is the latest things? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I must say that I'm still learning fusion, and that's it's really hard. But uh, I have started to make holes, just as test. Uh, so you can see there's a even distribution between these holes, but not between these two holes. So that's not correct. But uh, I will work on that and see how many holes and how and so on but uh, the general looks of uh, the CDU bay is coming together and if we look at the right side you can see this part here this is how it is in in real life so also making some adjustments here and the angle here and also have made some uh, holes for the Jesus rails now I can see that I have the wrong measure here oh that's interesting okay anyway this hole is correct countersunk I've not decided if I will use rivets at countersunk countersunk rivets as they use in real life or if I'm going to use screws as flight deck solution but but as you can see it's coming along nicely and um, if we look at the top of the CDU uh, this is a drawing of the CDU and um, you can see that the hole for the desus and where the fastening rail is perfectly centered in the hole so if we look at look around a little it's it's perfectly centered here around the hole and it's correct for the the other holes too and i measured it and and used the correct measures and of course i can remove the cdu so like this and we can see here the desus rail unfortunately i've done something wrong when i did these holes so i will measure it again but uh, yeah coming along nicely and uh, if we open the final assembly so this is how just the right the left side looks and with only one desus rail in place and we can see how how it looks basically so it's um, it has 30 centimeters of uh, flange here and 40 down here and a little flange here to to mount in the low light uh, yeah low light panel so we can see let's see the main assembly top assembly and i've not updated it so so you will actually see how fusion updates the thing so if i change components and linked components they will change into um, change i will be able to change them w when i do changes so here i get a warning that uh, two components are out of date and i can push this and it will update the holes in front and holes there so and you can see that now i don't have the CDU there, there. So I can also remove things uh, if I don't want to see things. So, for example, if I do this, 
all the working things is is removed that only the only this is visible so you can see the desus rails and different components and i've also mounted a screen and just put the screen in there to to show how how it looks with the screen and the i'm yeah I'm, I'm still thinking yeah you can see this part for example it will be mounted in the uh, in the low light panel and also this part so this will be the the the, the assembly for for the screen so yeah very simple i have not decided it if i should move this out and uh, Put uh, shim. Uh, uh, what do you, what do you call them? Shims, shims uh, between the DSUS rails and the side panel. Uh, but yeah, it's possible to to show everything uh, basically and. Uh, Work is slowly moving forward. You can see the beam here, stabilizing beam for the for the whole assembly. So, and I've also added the screen, and I'm borrowing ideas from every manufacturer basically. So, Flight Tech Solution, CP Flight, Flying Gravity when they were in business. Uh, what are you called? Uh, yeah, every manufacturer I'm borrowing ideas from and making my own design and trying to make it better than, than how they did it. So that's for that's it for now. And I will continue work with the with this.